So hi everyone, this is ECU Boot and for today we're working on this Mercedes C180 compressor W203 using the 271 engines. The customer complaint is at out of positions the engines is irregular. We have our engine lights on and when we shift the car back and forth it's very shaking. So this is the overall of the vehicle after we've done a quick scan and this is our check engine light. So this is our professional diagnostic tool that we've used to run a quick scan and as you can see we have a full code related to the self adaptations of mixture formations and the mixture is too rich. From that we're going to take a look at the values related to the air fuel mixtures. But before doing so, I will explain what is our problems. The air and fuel are the heart of internal combustion process. The proper amount of air and fuel must be entered the internal combustion chamber if the ignition is going to be successful. Otherwise, you might have a situation where your engine either consumes too much fuel or underperforms. The engine control unit normally regulates the flow of air and fuel into the chamber. This is the central computer which manages virtually all the internal functions of a vehicle including how much fuel gets injected into the combustion chamber. But if the computer were to malfunction or some other problems were to exist in the fuel injection system, then it could cause the engines to receive more fuel that it needs to sustain the vehicle power demands. This causes the ACU to throw a trouble code. As you can see on the screen, our cell adaptations in idle speed range has been exceeded its specified values. Due to this, our ECM is no longer can adjust these values. Another data describes these problems is our air mass when the engine is in idle positions. Sometimes the actual values is rising above the specifications from 7 to 16. What this means is it's telling the ECU that it needs more fuel in order to match the mixture deviations resulted in the mixture too rich that we've mentioned earlier in this video. So this is one of the reasons that caused our engines to perform irregularly. And with that being said, let's go ahead and fix these problems. So this is the mass airflow sensor on our 271 engines. The mass airflow sensor measures the amount of passing air going through the air intake system. The sensor measures the amount of passing air with a resistive platinum wire that is placed in the air stream of the air intake system. The resistive wire has a positive temperature coefficient. The higher the temperature, the higher the resistance of the wire. Electronics in the air flow meter sends an amount of current through the wire to warm it up. The wire temperature is kept constant. When more air passes the wire, the more current is needed to keep the wire at a constant temperature. The current that flows through the wires is a measure for the amount of passing air. The current is measured by the electronics in the sensor and converted to a voltage at the output of the sensor. The engine control unit calculates the amount of air going into the combustion chambers from its voltage. And after a long time, the hot wire will become dirty due to the air entering the intake manifold. This will make the corresponding output information incorrect and result in the deviations in the air fuel mixture. And at the point of removing the intake manifold, don't forget to clean the supercharger system. It's very easy and pretty much anyone can do it. I've made several videos on how this works and you can check them at my playlist. So after replacing the mass airflow sensors and cleaning our intake, the engine is working properly, it's no longer shaking in the idle positions and everything is back to normal. Now, I can say that our problem has been solved. In conclusion, today's problem is related to the intake air system on a Mercedes C180 compressor W203 using the 271 engines. After a long time, the dirt is formulated in the hot wire of the MAF air flow sensor resulted in the incorrect information output. After replacing the sensor and cleaning our intake system, the engine is working normally. 
for watching this video. If you have any questions, please let us know and we'll help you as soon as possible. Till then, we really hope you enjoyed today's videos. Thanks for watching and see you next time.